um, thing we talk about with our guys, you never apologize for, for winning. And um, I, I told our guys also that the team that decided or that finished up playing or getting more stops at the end was going to was going to win this game. Our guys certainly did that. Proud of our guys for the way they bounced back after playing against Oakland and um, in a tough game there. Um, certainly another challenge here with Detroit coming in and you know averaging close to you know 85, 88, whatever uh, points per game. So we knew we had to you know uh, play great defense, um, try to weather you know that storm with them being able to score so quickly and, and so frequently. Um, our guys really dug in, especially in the second half. Gave us a, uh, you know, some great stops. And if you look at it, um, you know, starting with at about the a little bit under six minutes, we held them to no field goals in the last six minutes. And that's a credit to our guys and um, you know how hard they were playing, um, paying attention to a scouting report, understanding who's out there on the floor. And uh, but our guys are very resilient. It was good, also, you know, any time that you. In this type of situation where you're playing Thursday, Saturday, um, obviously you want to win both of those kind of sets. But if you, you know, if you lose that that first one, you definitely have to you have to work hard to try to get that split. You don't want to go down 0-2 on that on that weekend set. So uh, proud of our guys and you know very resilient and stayed together and uh, you know really really good to get this win. I would say as a group effort. I mean, it takes everybody to sit down and get a stop, you know, whether it's helping your teammate next to you or helping your brother on the rotation. It's just a group effort, and it takes everybody to sit down, and communication is a big part of it. And, and we told ourselves going into the huddle, uh, we just got to sit down. We got to take some pride in our defense, and we got to man up and stop the man in front of you. We have guys that can shoot it, and, and I think shooting the three and is a lot about confidence. It's a lot about your feed and preparation and all that before you even get the basketball. We look at film all the time about where our guys get their shots from. We work on it in practice every single day. And from our film study and from, from watching it, we, we see there's a lot of opportunities for them to get those shots. And now it's just a matter of making them. So tonight was that night where, you know, whatever it was within our offense that allowed them to get those open looks, we certainly, you know, were confident and, you know, got really good passes and, you know, you see the, the 16 assists off of the 20, the 16 assists off of 26 field goals was really good. And, and, you know, with that, there was the 12 threes off of that. So that's, that's really good. Um, you know, when you're executing that well, it's really good when you're knocking them down as well. Um, coach instills a lot of confidence in our guys. So we, take every shot like it's our shot it's the team shot so even other guys on from the bench from on the floor they have confidence when a guy shoots it and we I mean we know it's going in and that's just the way we think and every shot that we take we just play with confidence and stay positive